quick, graph y equals f of the opposite of x by hand, given y equals f of x, this graph in blue here. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need graph paper or download this PDF and print it. Press pause as needed anytime during the video. To graph y equals f at the opposite of x, we're going to use a table. But we're going to use a three column table and we're going to place the x values from the blue function into the three column table provided starting with negative 5, because that's the lowest value on the blue function, all the way to positive 5, the maximum value, and all the integers in between. We're going to take the opposite of each x value, because that's what it says to do, f at the opposite of x. So negative 5 becomes 5. And then we evaluate f at that opposite value, that 5. And we need to read that from the graph. So at x equals 5, the y value is 2. And then we plot that ordered pair, negative 5, comma 2. Please press pause anytime if I'm going too quickly. Negative 4, opposite is 4. F at 4, reading from the graph, is 1. So negative 4, comma 1. The opposite negative 3 is positive 3. F at 3 is 0. So negative 3 comma 0. The opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. f at 2 on this function is negative 1. So the ordered pair is negative 2 comma negative 1. At 1 also it's negative 1. So negative 1 negative 1. At 0 it's negative 1. So 0 negative 1. And also at negative 1 it's negative 1. And when x is positive 1, the opposite of x is negative 1, and f at negative 1 is negative 1, so 1 comma negative 1. 2's opposite is negative 2, f at negative 2 is up there at positive 2, so 2, 2. 3's opposite, f at negative 3 is 3, so 3, 3. 4's opposite is negative 4, f at negative 4 is actually at 4.5. So 4 comma 4 and a half. And 5's opposite is negative 5, and the function's value is its maximum up there at 6. So 5 comma 6. We need to connect the points, but as we do so, make sure we use the original function as we see the pattern. So that straight segments are straight segments, curves are curves, and so on. And so here it is y equals f at the opposite of x. Comparing that to the parent function, hmm, not the same. And also comparing to y equals the opposite of f of x would look like this in brown. And so the question is, is it even, odd, or neither? Well, we can definitely see that the blue and green are not equal, so it's not even. The brown and the green are not equal, so it's not odd. So the answer is it's neither.